Hello and welcome back to my unboxing and review of Warhammer Imperium in Premium Kit number two. Uh, the first Premium Kit was Chaos Space Marines. Uh, this one I can't remember. It's either Tau or Tyranids. The last Premium Kit is going to be Orcs. So this contains um, one unit less than you would find in the old Star Collecting Boxes from Games Workshop. In the Chaos Space Marine one, we had uh, the Chaos Core Space Marines, the Chaos Sorcerer. We're missing the Venom Throat, I think it was called. Not Venifrop, that's another two-minute unit. Um, I don't know, Giant Spider Fella, which no one liked because it looks creepy and horrible. But this one is either Tau or Tyranid. The Tyranid Codex just came out uh, a couple of days ago, the 9th edition, so it'd be quite good if this was Tyranids. Uh, I don't have that codex, but I'm a collector now rather than play the game. Let's open it up. So we've got Premium, Warm Imperium on the front, Premium Kit number two, anything on the back, nothing on the back whatsoever. It's just in a quite a sturdy cardboard box as well. You could probably use this later on in life to fit your miniatures in, but they have to be standing up, like lengthwise. So here, here, and here, and here, with some foam. Okay, let's open it up. Ah, we got these fellas here. Right, so I can't remember. Tau or Tyranids? Tau or Tyranids? It's the Tyranids. Ooh, okay. Unless they actually give, accidentally give me the Tyranid uh, codex and the miniatures are. Nope, nope, the Tyranids, they look very, very Tyranid-y. Actually quite a thick book as well, Premium Issue Tyranids. So there's a lot of sprues in here, a lot of old sprues as well. It's quite a, these are quite old kits and a bunch of bases as well. Let's have a quick look, see here, of the one out of the way. Oh, this is a very old sprue. Oh, Oh, so much space in between these gaps here. And they're on slotted bases too. This is my first set of Genie Sealers I actually own. I've been collecting for about six years now, and I've never collected anything in Tyranids. This is my first 2004. 2004 this brew was made. I might be, might be older than some of you watching this. A bunch of Genie Sealers with a bunch of heads on there as well, and these weird... I don't even want to know what these are. Ugh, something look quite nurgly actually. Let's put let's put my sprue out of the way. Is this a repeat of the same sprue? It looks like it. A bunch of heads, a bunch of spare heads. Exact same uh, other sprue. Yep. To the next one, we got oh, we got some hormigons as well. I thought we were just getting gene stealers and the brood lord. When was this then? Two thousand. 2000 good god this is ancient well i'm older than this sprue but god <laughs> i'm not saying this brew is actually made in the year 2000 it was designed in the year 2000 but holy crap and there's a little ripper swarm here dude as well you can just let's have a look see just there there's above my thumb there's a cute little ripper he's gonna rip your eyes out and, and feast on them there's some hormigons and there's a load more hormigons i think this is two of the same sprue think it is right and left left and right so some of these actually got some numbers of so number 11 another little ripper but some of these have got um l and r so i assume left and right for the um uh, the little guns of the um hormigons hormigons termigons whatever i think that's basically the same copy of the same sprue let's have a quick look see compare the two da, 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 da. yep same sprue is that also the same sprue the one we just did before is that three of the same sprue and doing some detective work here now. Wait. Oh, so it's three of the same sprue. Like I said, I've never collected Hormagons or Tyranids in my entire life. So um yeah, this is all this is all new to me. But it's the same sprue three times over. How many torsos have we got? One, two, are they halves? One second. No, they're not halves. You do have to clip some arms and legs into one side of the torso. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 Hormagont slash Termagont. Build them how you wish. I assume that the magazine's going to tell us which way to build them, and only one way. How many genius stealers have we got? It's the same sprue repeated. Let me just do oh, more detective work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that doesn't seem like a lot. Is a legal list 10 in that edition now? Because I know you can have them squads of 20 in the previous Nathanation Codex. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I'm not going blind. Was it a minimum squad of 10? Because if it was a minimum squad of 10 in 9th edition, 
this will be almost illegal. Because these are now elites now, I assume, in the um, Mutina Codex. So, some way, unless I'm missing, let me have another quick look see before I jump to conclusions. What else have we got here? Oh, we've got some other weapons for... I have no idea. There's another little Ripper character. The same, again, the same sprue repeated. I'm going to try and get into the right way. There. And there. Same sprue repeated. Uh, 2000. Another ancient sprue. So looks like we've got some like little small pistols over here. You can barely see. I had to zoom in for these ones are so damn small. Then we've also got some actual rifles here as well. I'm sure a Tyranid player in the comments will say this is actually a spore of flesh terror thing. Well, thank you for clearing that in the comments. I'm just preempting comments. Oh, huh, okay, right. Well, this would be interesting because uh, I always thought that Tyranids um, would just um, get in your face and rip your, uh, your face off. And then, oh, there's another sprue. There's four of that one we just did. Four of that one and the Brood Lord sprue, which I assume is the newest out of all of them. 2013. You just see it there. Yeah. Broodlord Sprue with a giant, looks like a part of a tyranny sticking out the floor. Broodlord itself. Long mandibles. But that'd be very interesting. And a bunch of faces. We've got a load. For some reason, we've got. Is that a 50 mil base or 40 mil base? Let me just. Double check with this and pair that's 32. So it's a 42 mil base, a 40 mil base. What's that for? I have no idea. Get the bunch of rippers together and put them on the little ripper base there. One little ripper just bobbing around now. Bunch of 25 mil bases and this over base, over base for the uh brood lord. There's a lot of 25 mil bases. I always thought genius are 32 mil bases. Hmm, go figure. Right, moving on to the actual magazine itself. I assume it's going to be a massive lore dump here of the Tyranids. So let's see what Ian got to say. Where's my uh, little pointer? You do. Let's pick up a random paintbrush. Actually, no, you can't see that. There we go. In this issue, from the cold black void come the Tyranids, monstrous aliens who devour all in his path. Their pre this premium issue of Imperium comes with four units of ravaging Tyranids, with which you can begin your conquest of the galaxy. After following our competitive build and paint guide, you'll be ready to unleash your tyrannous swarm upon the unsuspecting Imperium. Happy obbying from Ian. Cheers, Ian. Now, it said four units. Comes with four units of ravaging tyranids. Okay. Maybe the option is to build a Tormagons on Hermagons. Tyranid bioforms, basically really big fuckers. Again, I love this artwork in this magazine here. Goes a bit on um, a bit about the large, huge creatures inside the uh, inside the game in the universe or galaxy, I should say. Bioweapons. Oh, right. So it actually comes onto the uh, the actual weapons we got here. So we got bioweapons. Uh, the spine fist. Okay. Uh, dissection has revealed that this weapon connects directly to the host organism's airways. The spine fist poisonous spines are fired by a strong exhalation, um, exhalation from the host. Oh, kind, of like, kind of a bit like COVID, really. Devourer. The devourer is connected to the host nervous system and is triggered by a bioelectric pulse from the host body. It fires uh, parasitic worms that eat into the victim's brain. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, right. We're keeping well away clear of that. Flesh borer. The flesh borer contains a small brood nest within which... Borer beetle eggs hatch and mature. When triggered, the weapon fires these ravenous beetles towards the foe. Again, ugh, horrible. And organic ammunition. Let's have a look see here. I need to zoom in for a bit of this one. Yes, that's a whole lot of nope. The Tyranid bioweapons fire many organisms finally adapted to specific tasks. Some organisms have digestive enzymes for dissolving armor and others have sharp mandibles for tearing flesh yeah these tyranids are quite grim dark and the ultimate grim dark faction i think in the 40k universe high fleet kraken going onto a single primary space marine holding off looks like the entire freaking horde there. that's amazing brood lord psychic leader beast 
and goes on to the uh, weapons and the carapace of a Tyranid. So it got us, it got the exoskeleton, monstrous rending claws, um, tongue as well, but I'm gonna go over it in a few easy steps. So this bit, the arm coming out, is called the nope. This other arm is called the hell no. And that bit's called the no fucking way. I do not want to get anywhere near these guys. And of course, battle record. It goes into how your name or oh, beast of legend. Some tuners have pledged the Imperium, uh, plagued the Imperium long enough to be given names by their foes. Interesting then. So it's not going um, down this faction route to get that faction unit a name, etc, etc. What else have we got here now? Psychic Specialism, we got Hive Mind, um, Imperative, Hive Mind drives the Brutal's complete particular tasks in battle, and we get a D6 chart, Neutralize Commander, Slaughter All Psychers, Target Heavy Weapons, Seize the Objective, Infiltrate in Positions, and Inspire Terror. Genetic, genetic Substain, again, so roll a D6, can mimic human voices. Okay. Uh, camouflage Carapace, Perfect Night Vision, uh, Groove Climbing Claws, Terror Sensing Ability, and enhanced intelligence and record of battle and evolved adaptations. Oh, interesting. Hmm. You want to do it that way? Go ahead. Let me go here. Oh, the gene sealers. The guys I used to immediately shoot off the table in um, 8th edition because I absolutely hated them. Okay. Move, like what? Move, advance, and charge. And yeah. Move, move, advance, and charge. It's yeah, with the swarm lord and all that. Yeah, I freaking hated these guys. Acid more. This biome, of course, is armor dissolving acid power to drip from his gene stealer's claws. Okay, you don't want to, you know, oh, that's horrible. Flesh hooks is in the tongue. These projectile weapons latch onto enemy prey skin, preventing them from fleeing. That's lovely. Silent talons are rending claws. You sons of bitches, I hate those. <laughs> At least I get um, roll a six, you get AP four on them. Some shit like that in 8th edition. It's all changed now in uh, the new codex. <laughs> naming your bleed. Lethal biomorphs. Like, naming your gene stealers. Termagants, the living swarm. So termagants are ones with the guns. And hormagants have got the uh, little claws. Oh, you've got your little ripper swarm. Ah, that base looks like it's from ripper swarm base. Ripper swarms often follow the two in advance fist. Ugh, feasting on the bodies of the dead and wounded. Oh god, they will attack creatures many times on their own sides, tearing them flesh with ready shot. Oh, that's horrible. Do not like that at all. And you show us here now which weapons is which. Spine fist, devourer, flesh borer. And then we're going to actually building the um, the miniatures. First up is the Broodlord. Let's have a look, see. 15, 17, I think it's got 17 pieces. Yep, 17 pieces and the other base as well. That one looks, oops, kick something. That one looks very, very simple to build. I'm actually build that in a few minutes. Well, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying after I've done this, I'm going to build it in a few minutes' time, not in a few minutes. Gene Stealers, there's a bunch of heads here. And heads that you don't use, you can um, use for dioramas, displays, and, you know, trophies. Look quite simple to be, yeah, they're quite simple, straightforward, nothing complicated, uh, complicated about these guys. This isn't like a redemptive dreadnought. Oh, they, oh, okay, I said it was complicated, but now look at the arm options here now. It's just like three claw, three, it's all three claws with different positions, you know, different, like that, the way you want them to. More menacing, less menacing. And with scything talons as well. Assemble all eight of genius stealers with a pair of scything talons. Feel free to use any combination of left, left and right limbs on each model. Oh, thank you very much. Four arms and two legs on these guys. Okay, right. Extended carapace as well. Finally, glue the extended carapaces in position atop the gene sealer's bodies. These components should be glued into place in exactly the same way on every one of the eight models. Okay. Um, I can't remember now in the 8th edition if they had extended carapace as like an upgrade for the unit. Maybe. I don't know. I've only ever played against Tyranids. I never played with them. And the Hormagons as well. It's very weird that you have to put the heads together. So the head comes in two parts. Like that and it goes together. So imagine now, well here's actually the mouth. And it's like two parts. Very, very odd that. 
But I suppose you want to make some really, really cool split down the middle. Oh my god, so you've got those heads. You can maybe probably use them on the jeans to see the head. Oops. Three of our bases, um, legs, Timagon, spine fists, and devourers. So we got a. Oh, that's weird. So the spine fists have got two hands. It's got two hands with, like, so they're going akimbo, going like a. Or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 akimbo bloody um, <laughs> kimbo freaking shotguns. And then we've got the Timagon devourers, which has got uh, one arm with a gun and one arm with holding the weapon. Biomorphs, so we can, oh god, the toxic sacks, devourer plate, armor plate, sorry, and adrenal glands added on the uh, on the miniatures there. I suppose you can put them on if you wanted to. Right, well I've noticed now, after having a quick look-see, there's no option for the melee fellas, the Hormagonts. I believe that's correct. The Hormagons are the melee fellows and the Termagons are the shooting fellows. And it's telling you here. Oh, you make oh you can make twelve or twelve of either or, or you can make six of six. And down here we've got the uh little ripper swarms. It looks like we've got uh six ripper swarms in total and I think only one forty mil base I was given. Yeah, having a quick look down the box, I've got one 40 mil base, but don't worry, I got plenty, so I'll have to have So you get two little ripper swarms. That's why they said four units. Two little ripper swarms. And how to paint. So it looks like we're going for. Oh, it just says what paint that we need, and then the uh, the base coats. But oh, right there. So it even says just just over here, it says base paint Raka flesh. And then we got uh, shade with uh, Raikland flesh shade, dry brush with Rakar flesh and pallid witch flesh, armor carapace, corn red, aggressor shade, and Everson scarlet for the layer. So I kind of want to do mine blue, blue or purple. No, oh, purple is like a very generic. I might go actually go blue. I don't really paint blue. Yellow? No, forget that. Red markings as well on the heads, and oh, yeah, it's, it's doing a bit more. Oh, okay, it's doing a bit more um, stuff rather than like the normal issues. It's going on to stippling with the edge of your paintbrush, so you just poking. No, well, not a good idea, but just poking the top of the skull here, adding some uh, dots to the flesh and all that. Okay, I like that. That's quite good. Bit more in depth there, uh, using. Moot green. Oh no, Tesseract Glow. Wait, what? We haven't been given Tesseract Glow yet, have we? I don't think we have. Scream of Pink. I think we've been given a Scream of Pink. So we've been given a guide here to Tesseract Glow on a miniature we just received, but no paint. We have not. I don't think we've received Tesseract Glow in Imperium. I could be mistaken. Okay, what else we got here as well? Aggressor shade on the Ministrat and Grey, uh, Dawn of the Edge highlighting, and there we go. There's a whole shebang there. Basing with, of course, the Anthracite. Have we had Anthracite yet? I forget. And there we go. There's what your, well, there's your Gene Stealers and uh, your Brood Lord. How many Gene Stealers? One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Yeah, eight, yeah. And then the little Horm uh, Termagons, sorry, beg your pardon there. Infestation nose. Actually, do we have enough hands here for the Hormagons? Let me just double check to see. I'm not too sure. I'm trying to see now they've got spare hands for a minute. I was just double checking because I would have thought they would have come with the options to have the uh, Hormagont and Termagont inside the kit, but they don't. Are they two separate boxes in real life? I'm not too sure, because I always thought that inside the same box for the Hormagont and Termagont, you have uh, the sprues of both of them, the melee dudes and the shooty dudes, but it's just the shooty dudes, so you're stuck with them. If you want the Hormagont, tough, you're not getting the Hormagont. You're getting the Termagont only. And the uh, data sheets, these might be completely null and void now for 9th edition because the new codex has just come out. I have no idea. I haven't got, I haven't got access to the new codex. I can't exactly say what. So this could be 
all null and void right now. But there we go, and secure the Archaeotech. So this looks like Kraken. I thought it was a Karen there for some reason. <laughs> I read it as went, oh god, no. Interesting. Genius Leader's Elites. Were they troops in the previous edition of, well, 8th edition and start 9th edition? And I'm pretty sure the new codex, they became elites. So this might actually be up to date. Don't take my word on it, though. So this is like a little, oh, there's a little scenario, though. Um, what do you have to use? Mission forces. The contents of what we just um, were given. Only one Ripper Swarm, though. And the other side is Dominus, Engine Seer, 10 Rangers, and three Destroyers. Even though we've already been given one Destroyer. So, yeah, I don't know if I was given this early or um, slightly out of sync, maybe. But I just received these in my delivery of issues 31 to uh, 35, I believe. Infestation nodes. I like a little Tyranid. Uh, oh, yeah, node, 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 node. So we've got, like, the infestation nodes are, like, little objective markers for the game. But there we go. And what's coming up next? Next will be the Tau Empire. Coming soon. So in this one we get, what do we get? We get Fire Warriors, a squad of 10. We get three stealth suits and we get a uh, Cadre Fireblade. Okay, I thought it was a resin model. Is he a resin model? I don't know, might actually be plastic. And after that, we get the Orcs. There's three Orc model kits. Learn to paint your Orcs and go to war in the new mission. Well, there we go. So that is the unboxing of Warhammer Imperium uh, Premium Kit Part 2. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, leave a like if you did. Uh, for those of you in Europe who have just getting this and in America, you got something to look forward to then. So it's issues... I got them with issues 31 to 35. So it's been quite some time before you guys get hold of this. But there you go. you got something to look forward to then, haven't you? All right. Thank you very much for watching and uh, take care of yourselves. Goodbye.